What is going on, people? Terry here with Blunt Trips. Got my buddy Raven back there in the back, munching her Cheetos. She loves her Cheetos, if you don't know yet. But uh, I wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on with the channel, as well as address some comments that I've had recently about my content. I'm going to go ahead and start with that first. Oh, she's eating chips today. My bad. I forgot. We ran out of Cheetos and she was very mad with me. My apologies. She's eating sour cream and onion chips today. And she looked at me like I owed her money when I grabbed the bag. <laughs> but anyways. First of all, to address the comments about how I take too long to present the story. This is a hobby for me. I know the channel is monetized. It does pay me. It doesn't pay me a lot, but it does pay me and I like money. I have five sources of income total, and if I could, I'd make more, and I'm constantly looking. But this is one that does pay me money. But it's also a hobby of mine. It's something I wasn't anticipating doing this long. I was only going to do a few episodes out in Vegas and a couple here last year, last March and April, and be done with it. The fact that it's pulled in this many viewers and still going, I'm happy with it. I know I say um a lot of times. A lot of YouTubers do. A lot of them do. The difference between me and their uh, content, or mine and their content, I'm sorry, I'm watching some kids crossing the street. But uh, the difference between our content is, I give it to you raw. I'll edit stuff in, but I usually don't edit anything out. A lot of YouTubers are edit out those ums and things like that. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not super fond of cameras, I never have been, so, Often when I'm talking and stuff, and when I look straight at the camera, it does pause me. It, you know, it's when you realize you're talking to yourself, sometimes it will make you a pause. Again, I'm not super fond of cameras. I'm adapting. Many YouTubers feel the same way. They're just not super fond of cameras, but they'll edit out their ums or their pauses and mistakes. I don't. I give you guys, um, I do give you an edited product sometimes, but it's usually edited stuff in hardly ever anything in it now. As far as the content, uh, I do work three jobs as well as this YouTube and uh, an eBay store that I have. I'm sorry, I am watching traffic. As I mentioned, I don't want people to say I'm taking too long to present this. But I also do an eBay store where I sell collectible, autographed, rare, memorabilia, items, cards, things like that. Again, I like money. I'm constantly looking for ways to make money. I have a kid back there. Then when I pass, I don't want her struggling, so I'm trying to make sure that I set her and her mom up to be able to survive when I'm gone. With that said, I don't like spending my free time, like I said, after having worked at three jobs and staying busy, when I get free time, I don't always like to go to the graveyards. Uh, often I like to spend it with my daughter and do things like that. So, a lot of the graveyard things I won't be doing as much anymore. I will still be covering crime cases. But I uh, I am doing other things behind the scenes that you guys don't know about that's coming. Uh, I do want to let you guys know right off the bat, there will only be probably about one video, possibly two some weeks, during uh, the warmer months. When it slows down again, I will pick back up to more videos. A lot of people are used to my four and five videos, six, even seven, sometimes a week. I can't do that during busy uh, busy season because I gotta make money and earn a living. Again, I have very expensive habits and hobbies. Now, another thing about channel content. Um, I have done some interviews in the past. I've had some people who scheduled uh, interviews or shows with me and backed out. One is, if you guys remember last year, that little worm casting, uh, what's his name, Harmon, that does um, the, the famous uh, crime locations or whatever the fuck his channel is. Um, he was supposed to come do a show with me and at the last minute when he was on the road, back the fuck out. Whatever, don't need him. Uh, Lamont, you know, he answered uh, my text and stuff until I asked him to do a show with me and all of a sudden the guy ghosted and became excuse my language, but a weasel, I'll call him, excuse me for calling this, but a weasel, if you will. Somebody got a car pass.
harassing me there. I had to watch my language because I remembered the kid was in the car. But with that, with that said, um, I have uh, I woke up this morning with uh, a message, a personal message from an up and coming uh, two division world champion. He's currently a world champion in two different divisions in this up and coming sport. Um, as soon as I saw the guy, he was one of my favorites in this new sport. It's slap fighting. For those that are unfamiliar, uh, it's a sport where you slap each other until somebody either submits or gets knocked out. There's been a lot of knockouts. It's super uh, fun to watch. I, I enjoy it. My kid enjoys it. And uh, it's drawing in some big names. Uh, celebrities like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Logan Paul are commentating and hosting these shows these days. So it is an up-and-coming sport. I remember watching UFC when it first started, back when it was done in venues the size of a large bedroom, dark arenas, things like that, long before what it is today. And this up-and-coming sport, slap fighting, is much like what I witnessed UFC in the early days before most people knew what it was, when I was 18 watching them. Anyway, make sure she's good back there, and watching traffic. Anyway, I received a private message this morning from current two-division world champion saying he was all about doing an interview on my channel, so I'm super, super excited to let you guys know that coming soon, real soon, I haven't, we haven't set a date yet, he's got to check with his manager and uh, what he can and can't talk about, of course, because there's contracts with world champions, but coming here really soon and I will announce a date I'll be doing an interview with slap fighting world champion Wolverine also his real name is Ron Beta I'm super excited about this interview this guy uh, although his name is not known around the world yet it won't be long before it is so to be able to get an interview and find out a little about this person his personal life is not just exciting, but it's going to be an honor for me because, again, this guy is going to be famous. This is a new sport, and it's drawing in some big-name celebrities that are getting involved with this. It's also pulling in former uh, combat sport fighters that are competing, things like that. And Ron Wolverine is a former combat sport contestant or athlete, if you will. Anyways, that's what's going on with the channel, and uh, that's something coming up that I'm super excited about. I want to address how long it takes me to present some of the stories I do. I get it. This guy, when I went and checked out his page, and I won't expose him. You guys can go look for the video or his comment if you want. But uh, when I went and looked at his content, he had a few videos up, and the guy was like 90 years old, so I understand why it is he's in a hurry to hear the full story. I get it, but not everybody on my channel is pushing death, <laughs> and I like to present the channel or present the content how I see fit. Again, this is my hobby, and if you don't like it, there is a lot of people presenting some of these cases. Some of them, you, I'm the only one that's presenting them to you. Either way, I do want to thank those that enjoy this content. I want to thank every one of you who have hit that subscribe button and even liked or shared my videos. This channel has grown way, way more than I thought. And it wouldn't be what it is today without you guys. My numbers, I'm sure, helped in the decision for Wolverine to decide to do an interview with me. And uh, without you guys, that probably wouldn't be happening. So, again, thank you all for those that do enjoy my content. Those that don't, I apologize. I, I get it. I knew from the beginning... Uh, that this channel wasn't going to be for everybody, especially when I used to start out my intros with What's Up Fuckers. Used to run people off right off the bat. And I did that for a reason, let people know what kind of content they were in for. But, for now, I'm going to go ahead and close this video out because I'm bumper to bumper traffic here as I'm rolling out at... Um, I'm watching traffic. You're watching traffic? I'm bumping the traffic as I roll out of Aurora and into Denver. Back to the studio. But, uh... I do want to say thank you once again to all those that have watched my channel. 
uh, subscribed and kept kept me going this long. I'm not letting you guys down. I will be dropping at least one video a week. I just won't be doing the five, six, and seven videos during season. But until next time, you all stay cool. You want to say bye? So for the bonus part of this video, I was asked if I would show you guys a couple of the items I have here in the studio that are collectibles. As you guys know, I do like collecting autograph memorabilia, 80s toys, and things like that. But uh, my house is getting kind of bombed with a lot of uh, memorabilia and, and toys and stuff. So I had to start bringing some of the stuff to the studio. But uh, I was asked if I'd go ahead and share a few of these items that I have here in the studio with you guys. Um, just to let you see you know some of the items I collect so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna roll through the studio and point out a few items I've uh, brought here uh, to the studio so I can look at why I'm here and make it feel a little bit more at home because often I'm here in the studio till 2 3 in the morning so and uh, I don't see my family as much as a lot of people uh, working three jobs uh, doing the eBay store and uh, and the YouTube channel, most of my time is actually spent here. I spend more time here than I do at home, actually. But today, I'm going to run you through uh, the studio and show you a few items I've brought here to look at to make me feel a little bit more at home while I'm here working. So let's get started. Now, I think I featured these items, actually, the cards there. I featured those in an unboxing uh, about a month or two ago. Um, Cards are a big hobby of mine. I do like collecting rare cards. That was a rare box. Um, if you look at the back of it, it still has a seal and a certificate of authenticity. And then I got some Smurfs here that are actually from 1982. The toys as well as a Smurf glass from 1981. It was coffee cup. I was... Uh, as a kid, I used to watch the Smurfs every, um, I believe it was Saturday morning, I'd get up and catch them. Yeah, Saturday morning, I'd get up and just enjoyed the Smurfs. So I, I wanted to get something from back when I was a child, that time frame. Moving along here, I got a couple of California raisins. My daughter loves playing with these, so they're a little out of order right now. Every time she comes in the studio with me, she's, uh, she's playing with these raisins. She just loves them. Got some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles back there. Now those ain't super old. Uh, I believe those are like only 10 or 12 years. But anything Ninja Turtle is a hot item. And I found those actually at a flea market for like two or three bucks a piece. Oh, to get back to my California raisins. Those are actually originals. 1988. I don't know if you could see it. Let's look here. I don't know if you can see that or not. But all these are original. 1988. Yeah, I know some people may notice my nails. I do need to cut them. It's super busy. Moving along here, I got Animal and Hawk of the Legion of Doom. Now, I actually paid a good amount for this one. I think this one cost me 70 bucks, if I'm not mistaken, for an open figure. But uh, it's got the, the collar on, what you see, and the tongue sticking out. But Hawk was more the interviewer of the two of the Legion of Doom. And if you look at the detail on animals face there, a really good job on the paint. That one I think I only paid 40 for, but a hawk was more expensive. For some reason he's more valuable. And then you see I got the autograph series, there's a hawk there. An animal. Of course, we got The Rock from 1999, back when he was Rocky Maivia. Most people don't know Dwayne Johnson and The Rock, before he was either one of those, he went by Rocky Maivia. Let me pick this up to show you. And that's, that was his original wrestling name. We got Stone Cold. This was a, a 2000 series. But this one right here, I really want to show you guys. I don't know how many, many of you remember Dusty Rhodes. But uh, he was huge, the American Dream. He was huge in the wrestling scene. And uh, I got this on eBay. It's an autograph uh, action figure of Dusty Rhodes. Super, super rare item. 
and uh, it was one I had to have. In fact, I think that one cost me around 200 if I'm not mistaken. And I went out and earned that money that day <laughs> for that item. Moving along here, I got some garbage pails cereal. I do like to collect cereal. Uh, cereal is one of the things I like to collect. Limited edition, special edition boxes. But this box of cereal here cost me 50 bucks. $50 box of cereal. See, I got Superman over there. A couple souvenirs from Vegas. But uh, over here, I got I got a couple of these actually, but I want to bring one to the studio. A Space Jam limited edition cereal box, as well as Captain Crunch Halloween cereal box, and a three pack. This one was another fifty dollar uh, box, three box cereal set. But I had to have it. It was the fiftieth anniversary. Over here, now a lot of people are going to want this item. This is actually a hot item, but super limited. This picture with a hand sign, Conor McGregor, autograph. Another item I have, I've picked up recently, I couldn't fit at home, because we're running out of shelf space, is an autographed um, Giants Kevin Nash set. If you look, Kevin Nash signed it there, and the Giant, who's also known as Paul White now on his show, um, The Big Show. That that was his original name when he started wrestling was the giant and back here I got just want to make sure I include that because a couple of the Legion of Doom Road Warriors I got an autograph hand signed of Animal from the Legion of Doom moving over here just a couple more items I brought to the studio I do want to share with you guys um, some of these are fairly new. This one's actually, I believe you're still buying in stores. If not, they just recently pulled it, but a Goldberg. That's going to be a good collector one day, uh, just because this guy's made it to the Hall of Fame. And if you remember wrestling, uh, the Monday Night Wars, Goldberg was WCW's answer to Stone Cold Steve Austin. Another guy I've super heavily invested in. I know you guys see all my colognes there. I keep a good stash of colognes here at work. That's not part of my collector. But I keep a lot of Gucci, pretty much everything at Gucci, Invictus, and uh, my favorite one is that Savage. That one's a really good clone. But anyways, back to this. Um, a wrestler I'm really heavily investing in right now, autographed cards and stuff, is Rey Mysterio. Um, this guy's been wrestling as long as my oldest kids have been alive, even longer. And the fact that he's still doing it is uh, impressive. His son's now a wrestler, from my understanding. I don't watch wrestling much. This one I just got today. In fact, uh, in the earlier half of this video, that's what I went and picked up. It's a limited edition. Let me turn we can see. 2020 Conor McGregor action figure. Just got that one today. And one more item I'm going to show you here before we head out. I got actually a tattoo of this guy. But my favorite horror character, Michael Myers. I just recently picked this one up, actually. It's not a super rare. I do have some super rare ones at my house. But uh, I picked that up on eBay recently for around 20 25 bucks, something like that. But that is going to wrap it up for me here. I don't want to knock anything over. That is going to wrap it up for me here with my collectibles. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do that as well. I'm going to go ahead and close this video out now. This was a bonus part. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add it in just because I was asked if I show a few of these items that I have around the studios I collect. But, again, if you guys liked it, click the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to do so. Sorry, I got somebody flagging me here at the door. And until next time, you all stay cool.